The Cold War was actually a result of World War II, which actually was significant to the administrative and military-related tension between different powers from Eastern and Western Bloc after the conflict. Though there is not any confirmation regarding the dates according to historians, but it is believed that this is about around the time of 1947, the Truman Doctrine, a policy by the US, that assured out to help many of those nations who were feeling helpless by those Soviet domination was introduced and then moving over to the year 1991, when the Soviet Union turned out to get distorted. There are many people who have that question in mind that why is this Cold War actually known by the name of Cold, in answer to which the only thing that can be said in support. This is because it is not about some kind of harsh war which was directly being fought between any two sides or two nations, though there were those some of the chief local wars, also known by the name of proxy wars, and also were reinforced by both of the sides. The Cold War is one of those wars which as a result led to the splitting of the brief wartime association besides that of Nazi Germany, which left Soviet Union and United States as two of the giants with very many of those deep differences in terms of economy and politics. USSR was also believed to be considered as that Marxist-Leninist Union which was governed by its Socialist Party and the top secret police who were also governed by some ruler or that minor commission which was known by the name of Politburo. This was the party which had their control on press, army, economy and also all of the other administrations. In addition to this, it governed over many of those another states in the area of Eastern Bloc and funded communist parties around the world, sometimes in competition with communist China, particularly following the Sino-Soviet split of the 1960s. In disapproval to this was seen standing the West, who was dominantly independent and industrialist, with the services provided to it like unrestricted press and also the self-governing administrations. With the beginning of non-aligned movement, there was that small unbiased union seemed to arise, which was the one to saw better dealings on both of the sides. These two of the giants were never seen getting involved openly in any of the full-sized furnished warfare, but which totally doesn't mean that were not prepared, they were actually profoundly and properly armed for the provision of atomic world war. So basically, in accordance with that bit of the sides, we're now having that nuclear strategy maintained which made power at other side not to take an action, basis on the fact that such an outbreak can lead to total of the devastation on the side of the attacker. This is what is says in the policy of mutually assured destruction, MAD. Apart from this advancement of nuclear resources by both of the sides and also the organization of conservative navy militaries, the tussle for governance was articulated via those proxy wars which were being in action all over the globe, emotion, conflict, enormous campaigns being placed for advertising and surveillance, competition during many of those events related to sports and also many of those competitions in the field of technology of which space race could be looked over as major example. The very primary stage of the Cold War, initiated during those very first two years following the ending of Second World War in 1945. The USSR decided to get it controlled united with many of the states in the area of Eastern Bloc and whereas, on the other hand, United States started working over the approach of universal inhibition so as to encounter Soviet power, which was at the continuous rate spreading army and also the economic help to many of the countries in the area of Western Europe. For instance, providing support of the anti-communist side in the major civil war in Greece was also one of the activity by them, and also generating the association named as NATO. The Berlin blockade, which lasted from the date of 1948 to 1949, was actually considered as that leading major calamity of the Cold War. The war expanded at greater rate when the socialist side of civil war of China got to taste the success and also which led to the occurrence of Korean War that lasted since 1950 to 1953, hence leading to expansion in the war and conflicts. USSR and USA were also seen competing for making guidance in the area of Latin America and the other states of the area of Africa and Asia, which were not considered under any of the mutual power. At the same time, Soviets took an action and thus brought the revolt, the Hungarian Revolution which began in 1956, to the end. 
This development and acceleration led to the more of the calamities, among which some of them are named as Suez Crisis. During 1956, the Berlin Calamity during the time of 1961, and also the Cuban Missile Crisis, which took place in the year of 1962. Soon after this crisis of Cuban Missile, there was seen a beginning to that new phase, which, as a result, saw the Sino-Soviet getting all of the relationships split it off, and majorly, which included the part of complicated relations within the range of socialist, whereas, on the other hand, US associates, which at major includes France, established superior independence of achievement. The program named as Prague Spring Liberalization was crumpled by USSR in 1968 at Czechoslovakia and then the Vietnam War, which lasted from 1955 to 1975, came to an end with the conquest of the Republic from Vietnam, stimulating many of those additional modifications. Moving over during the time of 1970s, both of the edges got agreed in generating more of the housings and rooms so that which can help them in creating that very much firm and expectable worldwide organization by initiating a period of accommodation that noticed planned arms restriction talks and also the relations of US with the Republic brought in from China as a tactical way to the Soviet Union. It is also said that at the end of the decade, this cooperation and this accommodation got distorted, leading to the creation of one new war between Soviet and Afghan during the year of 1979. Beginning part of 1980s were also said to be considered as another era, with strain raised higher, and also in 1983, which brought the Korean Airlines flight 007 to get downing by the Soviet Union, and also in addition to that was the able archer, NATO armed trainings. The United States at that time was also seen increasing political, martial and financial burdens for the people in Soviet Union, and all this is about the time when the socialist state was by now already suffering from financial inactivity. Also during the time of mid-1980s, there was that other relaxing modifications of perestroika got introduced by the new Soviet leader, named as Mikhail Gorbachev, during the year of 1987, and along with that was brought in the Glasnost, which led to the end of participation of Soviet in the area of Afghanistan. There were many of those strong burdens noticed on the part of Eastern Europe, and specifically on Poland for the matter of nationwide freedom. At the very same time, Gorbachev declined to practice Soviet troops, which can be termed as useful in strengthening the uncertain Warsaw Pact administrations according to all of those occurrences in past. During the year of 1989, the results came out as an upsurge of revolts that with great serenity, adding into the concession of Romanian revolt, got all of the socialist administrations of the area of Central and Eastern Europe defeated. Also following this, the socialist event of Soviet Union lost its control and thus, which led to the banning with an unsuccessful effort to overthrow during the time of August 1991, which in turn brought over the official termination of USSR during the time of December 1991, and also many of the communist governments experienced a fall in some countries like Cambodia, Mongolia and also the South Yemen and United States, at the end, was still a superpower for whole of the world. There was that hugely important legacy left behind by the Cold War at the end. To the end Now, you must already know that it is the ending of World War II which brought over an introduction to the concept of Cold War. In factual terms, this term, Cold War, was actually first used in an article in a newspaper written by George Orwell. There are also many of the arguments noticed between various historians in terms of the starting point for this term, as according to some of them, it was the immediate following of World War II, while others believe that it came into existence the same date when October Revolution in Russia began, during 1917. So, what was actually the thing which brought on this Cold War into existence? Look over for the ending of World War II part, and then how Cold War actually began with. It was about the war when most of the associates were seen being distressed about what should be the look given to European map and also about how to draw the boundaries. 
Every side among all of the involved has those different and dissimilar ideas about how to create and maintain whole of the security system for war. Among all of the communities, Western associates were the one who anticipated a security organization in which democratic administrations can get recognized in as much broad way as possible by giving all of the countries a permission to get the differences resolved in peaceful manner through many of those organizations available worldwide. There were also many of those attempts made by Soviet Union so as to get all of the interior dealings dominated from the conditions which left it get divided. Also, during the time of war, there were those many of the training centers maintained for socialists from different parts of the country, so that which can help in getting settled up as secret police services which can be used over for as soon as the control is taken by a Red Army. Many of those discussions which took place after the war were brought in at the Yalta Conference during the date of February 1945. Although this conference was not that much successful, as it never really grasped a firm agreement on making over the plan for getting a settlement made after the war in Europe. Moving over, then by the time of April 1945, President Roosevelt expired, which brought a success for Harry S. Truman, who as a result of getting a doubt on Stalin, looked up to find some guidance from the side of an elite group which was actually maintained by the foreign policy scholars. There was a direct opposition seen by both of Churchill and Truman and in amid of these things there were many of those decisions which were actually being brought in action, among which were the decision from the Soviet side to support the government made by Lublin and on the other side was the enemy which was organized by Soviet for elegance government in exile in London. After the victory gained during May 1945 by the supporters, there was a sudden step taken to effectively occupy the Central and Eastern Europe by the Soviet community. Meanwhile, some of them including strong US and Western-related militaries continued in Western Europe. So now, in many of those areas which were occupied by communities such as Germany, Soviet Union, United States, Britain and France, made it possible to get various sectors of occupation well established which can get everyone an opportunity to have a job and also lose background for packaged for power regulator. There was also one conference settled up in 1945 in the area of San Francisco, which as a result decided to inaugurate the Multinational United Nations UN, for the conservation of world amity, but the ability to implement of the Security Council related to same was actually very much efficiently paralyzed by distinct members' capability to use veto power. Consequently, the UN was fundamentally rehabilitated into a forum which was not that active so as to get polemical rhetoric restored and it was regarded as advertising tribune by the Soviet's community. While the World War II was at that stage of getting started, there was that establishment maintained for Eastern Bloc by the Soviet Union and that too was done by conquering and then occupying various numbers of countries as Soviet Communist Republics with the agreement made up with the Nazi Germany in the contract that was named as Molotov-Ribbentrop. Now these places were actually comprised of Eastern Poland, Latvia, which had later developed the Latvian SSR, Estonia, which further got developed as Estonian SSR, Lithuania, with new word as Lithuanian SSR to get described, also the part of Finland, at the eastern part, which later led to Karolo Finnish SSR, and then at last Romania at east, which became to Moldovian SSR later. Moving over, it was about 1946 of February when a long telegram which was there all the way from Moscow written by George F. Cannon made it easy to express the really hard line of US government in contrast of Soviet community and this made it to become the foundation for making many of those further strategies from the side of US in relation to Soviet Union and this lasted for whole of the period of Cold War. Also during this time, there was that Novikov telegram maintained by that union from Soviet side which was at later sent to US by the head of Soviet Union on which after some time an action was taken and thus it got appointed and co-authored by Vyacheslav Molotov. 
it itself actually represented the condition of US as being in the hold of monopoly industrialists who were actually seen to be constructing up their armed ability so that it can help them in winning over the world authority in a new war. To the beginning. And moving over, by the end of World War II, in 1947, the president of US, named as Harry S. Truman, was insisted by his consultants to take some instant and important steps which can as a result get hold of the impact from the side of Soviet Union tokened, mentioning all of the determinations by Stalin, which was taken in mid of whole of the muddle and breakdown that was being there as a result of war, so as to make the US get weakened up by the process of inspiring conflicts among entrepreneurs that could lead to the rapidness of another war. During the time of 1947, in February, it was been announced by the British government that there is no more service available to be able to fund the military regime of Greece in its war to contradiction of communist-led insurgents, as they cannot afford for the same. In response to which, the American government responded by the action in accordance to which the control was being accepted, the major reason behind which was to cause a stoppage on the spreading of socialism. There was also one speech delivered by Truman which asked up for the distribution of money for around $400 million to interfere in the conflict and expose the Truman Doctrine, according to which the whole of the conflict was been mounted as some competition between two different communities of free peoples and oppressive governments. Although the revolutionaries were being assisted by Josip Broz Tito's Yugoslavia, Soviet Union was still being blamed by the policymakers of US on being the one who collaborated in contradiction of the Greek traditionalists so as to get the influence of Soviet people get expanded. There was a beginning marked to the defense and foreign policy consensus of US bipartisan by the declaration of Truman policy between the Republicans and Democrats community focusing on the process of repression and discouragement that deteriorated during and after the whole of the Vietnam War, but eventually preserved subsequently. There was that really huge support given to the Western lands by many of those modest and conventional parties settled up in the country of Europe, and also combining with that were the social republicans, and on the other hand, many of those communists from Europe and America got involved in many of the intelligence operations while being paid by the KGB followed to Moscow's line, although opposition was start getting noticed during the time of 1956. There were those many of the analyses being made in relation to agreement politics, which are believed to become from campaigners of anti-Vietnam war and also the anti-nuclear movement. Marshall Plan During this time of 1947, there was that not-so-successful attempt made by the countries like Britain, France and also the United States so as to get that settlement done with the Soviet Union for some kind of plan visualizing for the economically independent Germany, which also included a comprehensive secretarial of the manufacturing plants, goods and organization already being detached by the Soviet community. Moving along during the time of June in 1947, in agreement with the Truman Doctrine, which has passed out with the Marshall Plan by United States, an inductee of economic support for all of those countries from Europe who were eager to contribute comprising the Soviet Union. After some time, this program brought on to the establishment of some Association for the European Economic Cooperation. The main aim of this plan was to get more of the autonomous and financial systems rebuilt for Europe and also to counter apparent pressures to the power of Europe, which also includes communist parties who were grabbing controller through uprisings or appointments. This plan is also considered as the one which tend to declare that success of Europe was actually depending upon the economic recovery of German people. After a month of which one National Security Act was signed by Truman in 1947 that led to the creation of Combined Section of Defense, the Central Intelligence Agency CIA, and the National Security Council NAC. Now these are believed to have shaped into those major bureaucracies for US policy in the Cold War.
On the other side, according to Stalin, this economic assimilation with the Western side would have permitted many of those countries from Eastern Bloc to discharge out whole of the Soviet control. And also according to this, US was actually looking forward to purchase a pro-US realignment of Europe that made Stalin to inhibit those homelands of Eastern Bloc to receive any kind of Marshall Plan aid. Now this alternative by the side of Soviet Union to prevent the country of Eastern Bloc from Marshall Plan was believed to include many of the appropriations from the side of Soviet community and this trade with the central and eastern part of Europe get to be later known by the name of Molotov Plan, later which was established during the time of January 1949 as the Convention for Mutual Economic Support. Stalin that time was also seeming to feel awful from the part of reconstructed Germany. This vision of him, which was brought in before the war in Germany, did not comprise any of the capability to equip or posture any kind of danger to the part of Soviet Union. Berlin Obstruction Many of those occupation zones from the area of west of Germany by United States and Britain at many of those other parts like Bisonia during 1947, at 1st of January, later Trisonia, with the accumulation of zone of France during April 1949. Also, during the time of 1948, it is believed that being the portion of the financial transformation in Germany, there was that agreement broadcasted by many of those legislatures who were a part of government of Western Europe, and also with the addition of United States for the Union of Areas West of the Germany into a centralized governmental system. Also, in addition to that, based on the concept of Marshall Plan, they decided to begin to get the economy of Germany get rebuilt and also re-industrialize. That included the overview of a new Deutsche Mark exchange to get hold of the old Reichsmark money that was now seemed to get degraded by Soviets. Moving over during the time of 1952, a final plan was being planned by Stalin frequently so as to get eastern and western part of Germany get united under the ruling of single government that was selected in the elections, which were administrated by the means of United Nations, and that too, if the new area of Germany would be there to stay out of the western part of military associations, but later, on this suggestion, got turned down by all of the western powers, which according to some of the sources, clashes the genuineness of the application. Here begins the NATO. It was about April 1949 when many of the countries like Britain, France, the United States, Canada and also eight of those Western European countries got in favour to sign up the agreement North Atlantic Treaty which was actually maintained to create the North Atlantic Treaty Organisation, NATO. So during that same year, in August, there was that very first Soviet atomic device that was exploded in the area of Semipalatinsk, Kazakh, SSR. When Soviet was found to refuse in having any kind of participation in a German transformation effort, which was set forward by many of those Western European countries during the year of 1948, many of the countries like US, Britain and France decided to organize the creation of West of Germany from three of the areas in Western Zone of profession in April 1949. Also, while this all was happening, the Soviet Union that same October finally announced its region of profession in Germany with the name of the German Democratic Republic. Many of those politicians from different parts, like America, Cannon and John Foster Dulles, recognized that the Cold War was now getting into the power and so, basically, there was not much a way to get it started. Also, along with that, a long list of projects was maintained by United States while acting through the CIA so that it can hostage the socialist demand among all of the academics in the area of Europe and also the emerging world. In addition to that, there was one more plan got maintained by CIA, which is known by the name of Crusade for Freedom. During the time of early 1950s, the US was believed to be working for the equipment of western part of Germany and then, which during 1955, safeguarded its full association related to NATO. There was also an unproductive proposal made in Beria which was by then considered to be under the government during the time of 1953, according to which an allowance was given to the reconsolidation of an impartial Germany, which can get hold of the incorporation in western part of Germany protected into NATO. Third World Competition 
There are many of those countries and areas like Indonesia, Indochina and Guatemala wherein the nationalist activities were most of the time associated with the socialist clutches or more often professed in the western part to be associated with socialists. And so during this situation, the United States and Soviet Union were seen to be progressively strived for guidance by substitution into the Third World as decolonization expanded momentum during the time of 1950s and also in 1960s. Moreover, the Soviets also faced many of those continuous losses from the side of grand powers as foretelling the ultimate conquest of their philosophy. Both of these sides were actually into the thing of marketing weapons to gain some encouragement. United States was considered as the one who used Central Intelligence Agency CIA, to do away with a court of unfavorable third world administrations and also, in addition to that, to prevent those associated ones. During the time of 1953, it was President Eisenhower's CIA who decided to apply the procedure of Ajax, which was actually a secret process intended at the takeover of the Prime Minister of Iran, named as Mohammed Mossadegh. He was the one who was popularly chosen and had been the Middle Eastern opponent of the Britain community while municipalizing the company, which was owned by British and was known by the name of Anglo-Iranian Oil Company. At the very same time, it was also being said that Mossadegh was getting increasingly turned towards communism and the statement is believed to be made by Winston Churchill to the United States. Crisis of Missile While being in the action of seeking ways to overthrow Castro while following the inlet of Pig's attack, there was that huge amount of experiment brought in action by Kennedy and his management that brought in many of the ways of secretly simplifying the revolution of the Cuban administration. There were those many of the hopes held on this secret program, which was also known by the name of Cuban Project, planned under the Kennedy management during the time of 1961. Also, while being in the time period of February 1962, there were many of those discussions regarding Cuba made on the plans by America Khrushchev, which is known by the name of Cuban Project and was believed to be under the approval of CIA and specifying the revolution of whole of the government by Cuban in the month of October. Probably, it involved the concept of American Navy and also one more of the operation was brought in action by the order of Kennedy so as to murder Castro. Many of the arrangements to connect Soviet nuclear arsenals in Cuba were commenced in reaction. Time of Confrontation It was about the time of 1960s and 1970s when many of the members from Cold War seemed to start struggling to get attuned into some more advanced and complex design of international associations in which the world was looking like no longer separated into two visibly opposite unions. With the foundation of a post-war period, countries like Europe in West and also Japan quickly recuperated from the devastation of World War II and also continued to have strong growth in the financial sector through 1950s and 1960s. And as a result of this calamity related to oil that took place in 1973, including the rising encouragement of third world arrangements, such as the one named as Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, and also the non-aligned program, less powerful nations had more of the scope to declare their individuality and repeatedly which made them to present themselves unaffected by any kind of compression from any of the superpower. At the same time, Moscow was enforced to get its attention turned towards the thing which can make it easy to pact with Soviet Union's deep-rooted domestic financial problems. It was also the period during which many of the Soviet leaders, such as Leonid Brezhnev and Alexei Kosygin, comprised the idea of agreement. Withdrawal from NATO The agreement related to NATO was broken during the time of history when all of the calamities were on the peak during the presidency of Charles de Gaulle in France from the year of 1958. Also, during the same time, de Gaulle disputed at the tough role of United States in the association and what he professed as a superior association among the United States and also the United Kingdom. It is also believed that in one of the document, which was directed to the President Dwight D. Eisenhower and the Prime Minister Harold Macmillan, 
dated 17th of September in 1958, he came forward to argue about the formation of a three-way executive that would make it possible to keep France on some equal balance with that of the United States and also the United Kingdom, and also which included the development of NATO's attention to comprise physical areas of attention to France, among which the most noticeable was French Algeria, where France was believed to be pursuing a counter-insurgency and also pursued the support from the side of NATO. Second Cold War Now, this was not the end. There were more of the things to experience for now, and Second Cold War is one of those. Basically, this term of Second Cold War discusses about the period which was truly that severe regeneration of all of the strains and fights which were the result of Cold War during the time of late 1970s and also the early 1980s. As both of the powers were getting more and more aggressive, which was clear indication to the tensions that were now just going to take a strong hike. According to Diggins, it is being said that Reagan went all out to fight the Second Cold War by supporting pledged revolutions in the Third World. On the other hand, according to Cox, the intensity of this Second Cold War was going to be as greater as small the duration of this war is. During the time of April 1978, the Socialist People's Democratic Party of Afghanistan PDPA, detained control in the area of Afghanistan at Saur Raad. By the period of some months, challengers of the socialist administration tossed an uprising in eastern part of Afghanistan, which at rapid rate got extended into the form of civil war, remunerated by guerrilla mujahideen in contradiction of all of the government forces nationwide. The community of Islam Unity, which was related to Afghanistan Mujahideen rebels, established military training and missiles in adjacent area of Pakistan and China that also included the weapons like missiles and billions of dollars from many of the major countries like United States, the United Kingdom and Saudi Arabia, though there were also many of those military consultants that were sent by Soviet Union for the matter of supporting the PDPA administration. Meanwhile, growing resistance between all of those opposing groups of PDPA community, i.e. the leading Kark and the very modest Pacham, brought in the result of removal of all of those members from the community of Pachami, and also which led to the capture of many of the military officers from Pachami under the cause of a Pachami revolution. And then, by mid of the 1979, United States had brought over a need to get the program converted in order to support the Mujahideen. Moving over, during the month of January in 1977, which is about four years previous of Ronald Reagan assigned as a president, it has been frankly specified by him, during his discussion with Richard V. Allen, the most simple expectation from his side from the whole matter of Cold War. My idea of American policy toward the Soviet Union is simple, and some would say simplistic, he said. It is this. We win and they lose. What do you think of that? And then, in 1980, Jimmy Carter got overpowered in presidential elections in front of Ronald Reagan, after which an action was taken by Ronald to upsurge funding on the military and also get Soviets threatened everywhere. Both of them, included Reagan and very new British Prime Minister named as Margaret Thatcher, made a criticism against the Soviet Union and the philosophy brought in light by them. Then moving along, in the month of September in 1983, the Soviet Union took an action against their enemies and thus which made them to shot down the Korean Airlines Flight 007, a Boeing 747 with 269 people on board, which also included sitting Congressman Larry MacDonald, while it disrupted Soviet territory just before the west shore of the island of Sakhalin, lying near to the area of Moneron Island a piece which, according to Reagan, was categorized as a massacre. Now this was the act which brought that huge support in relation to the army disposition, being supervised by Reagan, that remained in its place up until the time of advanced concurrences between Reagan and Mikhail Gorbachev. Many of these concerns were seen getting raised up from the side of public in America in relation to foreign battles with the ending of Vietnam War after which the Reagan management highlighted the use of rapid and not-so-expensive counter-insurgency strategies to interfere in distant fights. 
In the year of 1983, the Reagan management was also seen getting interfered in the war, which had those many of the corners by Lebanese, which attacked Grenada, wrecked Libya, and then supported the Central American Contras. These anti-communist reservists were looking forward to take over the Soviet-aligned Sandinista administration in the area of Nicaragua. As during the time Reagan's interferences in contradiction of Grenada and Libya were getting widespread in the area of whole of the United States, his support for the protesters of Contra was hindered in argument. Next, in 1985, there were more of the people and powers coming into action and this time it was Mikhail Gorbachev who in comparison to any other was considered as more young and got the seat to general secretary. The Soviet economy was looking like to get more quiet and thus which made them face that loud fall in the earning rate of foreign exchange. And all this is the result of the downhill shot in the prices of oil during the year of 1980s. These concerns were being comfortable at Major to make Gorbachev get encouraged so as to examine events to recover the injured state. So this incompetent starting finally brought up the result of being a necessary thing for having profounder physical changes and then which resulted to the announcement of plan of financial improvement which was also known by the name of Perestroika or rearrangement by Gorbachev in June 1987. All of this allocation system of manufacture was then brought in peace by perestroika and thus also permitted that isolated possession of productions and thus cemented the technique for foreign speculation. So, with the beginning of 1990s, this series of Cold War finally came towards an end. Though there were many of the tensions noticed between United States, United Nation and many other, but at the end this only resulted to the United States being a single superpower which is controlling different parts of the country and power. In spite of this, there are still many of those hopes generating as this war made many of those challenges against the religious thoughts and beliefs of the people in there.